banded belt march. You need one of these bad guys. I have a uh, variation of what to do if you don't have any of this set up in the written description whenever we do one of these. So I'm going to loop the band underneath, right? I have it tied pretty low, right? Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just showing you with this band, but use a really, really thick band, right? Layer it up, make it super difficult, and suck. So I might be holding a weight the front rack, sandbag here, sandbag here, kettlebells, dumbbells, barbell, barbell, right? Whatever it might be. But the point is, it's trying to pull me into this hyperextended position as I march, right? Or if I have plates, which sometimes I'll do this, I'll step up and step down, and then alternate the side of step up and step down. But the point is, it's trying to yank my hips forward, and that's bad, right? I'm trying to keep the smiley face, keep the glute. Every step I should feel the glute, not the outside, but my glute in the backside, right? I'm feeling that. So maybe this is all of a sudden what my march is, because now I feel my glutes and my hip flexors and my low abs, and all of a sudden it's not this anymore, because I feel the right tension, right? So again, smiley face. Keeping the breath under control, feeling the hip flexors, feeling the backside of the glutes, not the side, as I work on stabilization during this banded belt march.